you've got to keep your feet straight and equal in between the ball. It's different with each club, so with a driver it's normally like that, but with an iron you've got to have it equal. You've got to make sure that you bend your knees and stick them out. Normally you swing back, you've got to keep your arm in an L shape, so it swings back, make sure it's straight. Normally when, what I'm doing wrong here is, I swing it up and I lift my head up so it doesn't go, it doesn't go up into the air because I hit over the ball. When you keep your head down, I can't hit it, <laughs> I seriously can't hit that ball. Normally a pitching wedge is used for a close green which is why I'm struggling to hit it quite far. If I was hitting it quite close, you only swing it halfway back. So when I swing it halfway back, I do a bit better. And then normally when you've got the club in your hand, you move the thumb on the outside of the shaft, and you swing it up and sit like that. So if I demonstrate with the club, so like that, and then you curl, the form around the shaft, so you've got a clear hold of the club easier. Swing it back, like that really. So, as long as you've got that hold, you won't let go of the club. This is what the grip's designed for, as long as you don't drop it. When you've got the grip, you should be able to hit the ball, like that.